oil. This message or this word is taken from Psalms 23. Um, I know that I did another video regarding um, this beloved chapter, this beautiful chapter. And last time um, I was given revelations regarding the Lord preparing a table before us. But, you know, it was something that the Lord um, had put on my heart to share regarding oil. At first, it started off with the whole process of how oil is actually produced. And then this particular passage or this particular scripture came into play as far as the backdrop of this message or this word. And I love Psalms because it's always a book that we run to when we are in trouble, when we are um, discontented, or when we are um, down or brokenhearted. If we ever want to have our spirits lifted up, most of the time when you're sick, not feeling well, not feeling yourself, this is primarily the book of the Bible that many run to. And it makes sense of why it's that way, because there's so many passages in this book that gives life, which God's word is life. Um, this book in particular has a lot of words of life, surrounded by a lot of worship and a lot of praise. And so the second half of that verse is you anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. So the question of this video and the question that I pose to you on behalf of God is, are you ready for the oil? And I'm just gonna go ahead and start off with how oil is actually produced. When you think about oil, it's an extraction process that goes into producing oil. Um, take for instance, olive oil. Olive oil, those olives actually go through a process um, of extracting um, any kind of liquids um, that would be in the oil that's taken away. And it's done by pressing and by heat or by fire. And then this oil is produced. And this type of oil is a very precious commodity. Um, it's been like that for many years and it still is that way today. So knowing the backdrop of oil, the importance of it and how precious it is, is going to actually tie into this message or this word that I have to give. Um, you have to understand when it comes to the anointing oil of the Lord is a very costly commodity. All of God's gifts, all of his blessings are very costly. There's no price tag to it. But when it comes to the anointing oil, it has a specific function, a specific design. And a lot of us, we cry or we pray, Lord, um, I want to be anointed more. I want to have more oil in my vessel. Lord, I want your oil. We sing songs about, Lord, fill my cup and, you know, let my cup run over. And But do we really realize the significance of the things that we're praying and we're singing? Because it's such a high commodity, that means that there is a cost. You know, when it comes to things that are very valuable in this world, um, there's a cost to it. It's not something that just comes for free. And the anointing oil, there is a cost to it. Oil in itself was used in the Bible to anoint kings and priests. These were people who actually had some kind of position. They were consecrated for that task. The priests were consecrated. They were set apart from the common people. Um, and the oil was a signifier, a symbol, type and shadow kind of thing, a symbolic act that God was actually consecrating this person to himself. Same way when it comes to kings, they're in their own entity. Um, they're pretty much in a class by themselves. And so the importance of anointing a person with oil in the Bible was to consecrate that person, was to set them apart. They were not going to be like everyone else. They were pretty much one of a kind. 
And you know, when it comes to in the New Testament, um, it says that we are a peculiar people, a royal priesthood. And you know, we have the anointing, um, and that is the anointing of the Holy Spirit that God wants to anoint his people. Um, the question is, is everyone consecrated? When you think about the anointing, there is a power that's associated with that. Um, it's not just given to so just anybody. Um, when it came to kings, when it came to priests, these are people that God said, you over here, I want you. This is a kind of people that God anointed. You look at David, you look at different kinds of kings, um, priests, Aaron. These people had oil poured on them. And it was signifying that they are set apart. God has said and decreed that this person is anointed. This person is unique. And I think a lot of times that we say that this person is anointed and this person um, has the anointing on their life. But do we really understand that statement? It means that person is set apart for the task that God has for them. They're not like everyone else. They can't fit in like everyone else. And they don't fit in <laughs> like everyone else. Um, this is something that's prophetic as far as the characteristics that the Lord gave me regarding when the Lord is actually anointing you or he has anointed you. You are different. You are not like everybody else. You do not fit in with the crowd. You're pretty much set apart. Um, you have a unique way of doing things, a unique way of thinking and processing things. And a lot of people do not understand people like that. It's because they're in another class. It's not that they're better than anyone else. That's not what that is. It's that God has, because he decided to do that, not because they were a good person, because they did good works. That is the grace that God gives because it's whom he chooses. And it's pretty much up to him who he chooses. And so when you look at that person, that person has a special anointing. And it's not just to say, look at me, I have this anointing. As I mentioned, this olive has to go through a process, a process of pressing, a process of heat before that oil can be produced. And when that oil is produced, it is a precious commodity to whoever comes in contact with it. So the same way when it comes to ourselves, and if you have had this same thing when it comes to wondering what exactly is going on in my life, I'm not understanding. Why does it seem like there's a pressing in my life? If it feels like I'm pressed above measure. And Paul, he mentions this as well. He said that they were pressed above measure. And you can get to a place and a point in your life where you feel like you are pressed above measure. You have no room to even breathe hardly. You feel as though certain things are happening in your life that's actually pressing and squeezing you and, and, and causing you to actually moan and cry out to God like, why is this happening? So many things are pressing me. It feels like I have some kind of weight of trials on my back. And do we ever think about that something is happening in the heavenlies that the God who actually processes things, the God who um, he, he produces things, he's a God who produces fruit. Could it be that God is trying to get oil out of your life? You feel the heat, which is that's the same as the heat or the furnace that goes into the extraction of oil with those olives. You're feeling the heat and the intensity of the heat. If you ever got burned by anything, the intensity of the heat is very sharp. It's a sharp pain. And it's like very abrupt, very suddenly. And some of you are going through things that there's suddenly things happening. 
suddenly you have this going on and that going on and they're coming in different directions not just in one particular direction but in many several directions is where they're coming from and you're wondering you know lord what's going on here and you feel the enemy hot on your tail and you feel like the purpose of this you're you're asking within yourself why is this happening What's the purpose of all this pressing, all these fiery trials that's coming right and left, back to back? Fiery trials. Lord, what are you doing? What's happening? Why does it seem like the enemy is gaining ground in my life and I, it seems like it's not stopping? God could be producing oil. He wants to produce oil in your life. And oil is something that's very costly, as I mentioned very precious is what people seek after people seek after oil in the natural and when it comes to the anointing in itself many people seek after the anointing but has God chosen that individual or these individuals to receive it are they willing and ready for the cost that comes with receiving the anointing of the Lord. You know, when you have the anointing, you have the power to change people's lives. It's not just something for yourself. It's something where God is actually using you as a blessing to people. It's a blessing just in the natural sense. And in the shepherd sense, the oil is actually used by the shepherd to the sheep for healing. There's healing in the anointing. You know, God may use you to touch others' lives for healing as you have been in the pressing of the Lord, the pressing oil extraction process. You yourself can also send that same oil to heal others. It says, Blessed be the Lord, the God of all comfort, who comforts us in our tribulation, so that the same comfort that you have received from this pressing of the oil you in turn can use that same oil that was extracted out of your life to help someone else, to help them to heal the wounds in their life. So this is to help you to think and to just mull over. Are we in the, the press room of the Lord? Is he trying to press something? Is he trying to squeeze something out of my life that's there? There is not a squeezing going on unless something is there. And God is saying there's something in there inside of you. There is something in there inside of you that I want and I'm going to squeeze, I'm going to press. It's gonna feel like it's just the end. It's gonna feel like you're being pressed above measure, but when you're in the hands of the Lord, He has you. It's not a thing that you have to worry, you have to fret to the end of me. No, 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 when the Lord is pressing you, you're in good care. We just have to wait out the process of the pressing because the oil is coming. The oil is coming. Glory to God. And it's going to do something for yourself as well. It's going to do something in your own life. When you finish that verse, it says, my cup runs over. Do you know what that means? It means that I don't want for anything. I have more than enough. When your cup is running over with the anointing. It does something on the inside of you. It does something within yourself where you're like, I have everything that I need. This anointing, this fresh oil that the Lord has squeezed out of my life is giving me the ability to go through things even more, to run harder for God, for me to stand stronger in Him, to actually rest in Him, to have faith in Him more than what I have. This anointing that he squeezed out of my life has caused me to triumph in a lot of places that I didn't have before this squeezing went on. My cup runs over with the anointing of God. My cup runs over. I have everything that I need, more than what I need. It says that God is, is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. This is a God that we serve. He gives spiritual blessing because he is a spirit. And these spiritual blessings have a huge price tag. They are a precious commodity for all the world is seeking after. But the question again is, are you ready? Are you ready for the oil? 
Are you ready for the oil of the Lord? Are you ready for the pressing that comes with the anointing of oil? It's going to be well worth it once that oil is produced. It's going to bless you. It's going to bless others. So I pray that this message has encouraged you. If you are going through or if you feel like you're being pressed above measure, please be encouraged. Take heart that God has his hands on you. As long as you're in his hands, you're going to be okay. You're going to be all right. I, I think about um, when there were times in my life that was so hard and Joe, he would always say, it's going to be all right. It's going to be okay. And it, it sounds so cliche-ish. Um, I know it does. When I heard it, it did sound like that, but it always proved true. When I came out of these trials, when I came out of the pressing of the Lord, I was okay. I was actually better than okay. And so with the oil that I was pressed with, I give to you for God to bless you, to bless your life in Jesus' name. So God bless you.